Good readings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more of Divinity Original Sin, and join me, still recovering from his ass pounding, is... <laughs> Gaming Psychologist. Oh, I couldn't resist, what can I say? Yeah, we got our asses handed to us last time. <laughs> yeah, we, we consulted the Oracle, and uh, basically it says charm all of those creatures before they murder you to death. Yeah, and the thing is that they're also a level above us, which makes them... Uh, tougher to charm to begin with and yes we probably could sit there and do that egg fight over and over and over again but what is the fun in that right yeah so we're gonna go we're gonna go level up then show his ass i wonder if he's always a level higher than you though i have no idea since he's a boss enemy but it, even if that's the case at least at higher level we'd have more resistances and defense and stuff and there's some lock picks for you Okay, Thanks. so I sent you a few arrows. I was crafting while we right. were standing there. Well, since we got our asses handed to us, we are going to go off exploring. So this way. Yep. And right. in between, oh, well, before we started recording, I was moving the camera around because you know that's always fun. And I spotted something over here that looked promising. Oh. Wow. Well, that looks interesting. I didn't see that uh, <laughs> off in the distance. Nope. A deer. I saw a deer. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Oh, well, that's a doe. It has a hell of a wreck. Strange glowing stone <laughs> that robed fellow took to yonder temple. Everyone seemed quite enthralled with it, but it didn't look like any sort of I've ever seen. <laughs> well, we know that they have some sort of stone over there. Hang on, hang on. Boy, it's getting harder and harder to get drunk. Whoa. Getting more resistances? Building up your tolerance, that's what it is. Like your son. Here. Yeah. Okay, so what I saw was actually up here. You see oh, I can disarm those? Interesting. Sorry, what, what did you see? Uh, well, I'm gonna... Go up the hill here, and there's a scroll setting on the younger tree trunk. Oh, hey, I see that. Boulder Bash scroll. Boulder Bash. Little disappointing. I was hoping, you know, that was going to be something more interesting, but... Wonder why they have that here. How curious, huh? Yeah, I wonder... Here, have a frying pan. Thanks. I wonder if it in any way would help us with these bulb trap things. Possibly, but the thing is that I learned Boulder Bash naturally. That's my starting one of my starting spells. Ah. So let's find out. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Well, well hang on, let me get red, closer. Blue. Okay, Boulder Bash. What goes up must come down. Well, I didn't hit it directly. I was going for splash damage, but I'll try it again. Burning place! I did not destroy the plant. Stone storm. No. Hmm. Is there another way in? Well, there's this way with the pig and the corpse. So let's talk to you. Uh, a oh, bunny. there's a bunny too. Hey, my eyes are down here. <laughs> <laughs> Silly bunny. Hey, my eyes are down here, buddy. Oh. Uh, Pet pal's been so worth it. What is it? I don't have anything in particular. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, uh, that, that, that's painful. I kind of want to torch him. Get some bacon. I saw a deer. The water near that human village tastes terrible. Like something rotten. 
Well, we've uh, figured that one out already. What was that strange yep, it's the and mountain that's of dead bodies. And that's the other one. Okay, well. It was weird that they had a boulder bash spell just sitting there. I'll say you do a quick save. I don't like this area. Okay. Oh, there's, there's the Immaculates be. again. They're level 14, so... Since we just did a save, I'm gonna walk up to him. Yeah. Hello, fellow Immaculates. Ah. Oh, they don't wanna talk. <gasps> Hang on, troll droppings. Let's go, uh, uh, fishing around in troll droppings. That sounds, uh, like a promising thing. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Not as though I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I found a you bow, or should I, or is it a you bow? Hey, you. The There's a dead guy over here. Her to go to a feast instead of a blood orgy. Sorry, but I can't do it. Oh. I, I? Oh, that, that that that's terrible. <laughs> A decaying mound. Oh, this also looks promising. So far, we've uh, managed to just loot everything. So far. Air shaft. Shaft. Whoa. So, you know zigzags too. What a small world. Wait, wait. In. How does the deer know zigzags? You know, I saw something over here as well that I looked like I could loot. Thing is, there's uh, a dead oh, body over oh, here. Oh, oh, there's a beehive. Wow, 250 gold in the beehive. Very yet, yeah, what is a beehive? I Do think I'd like to become an immaculate <laughs> too. Better to be on the right side of a dagger than the wrong. Now, mushrooms. These are the good mushrooms that I can make he he healing potions from. There's a couple over here I missed too. And I'll get the tree trunk. The pig. I may be a pig. What is this <laughs> cave? Stand to lose a few yourself. Hello, a diary. Crack it open and inhale the musk of pages and learn something new. So let's do that. That sounds yo. Know, like the right thing to do. Day 654. All sources suggest that Heartseeker, that legendary and lethal bow. Ooh, I like this already. <laughs> uh, has long lain hidden in a small village to the north of Lucia Forest. So I've traveled to many moons in that direction by sundown. I should cross the gates of Silver Glen. Day 655. The inhabitants here are somewhat queer. Well, why shouldn't they be happy? Uh, what are you doing? Bacon! Oh boy. Are somewhat queer, perhaps too eager in their love for their conduit, their goddess, but they've been more, most accommodating. They seem, in order to reach the village, I seek I will need to undergo a series of trials, for the passage is closely guarded. I know not yet what these trials mean. I'll gladly suffer through anything to capture Heartseeker at last. It seems these trials were no hazard at all, day six, uh, 56. But it seems some sort of religious ritual instead. The local abbot, hey abbot! Sorry. <laughs> a certain Loic. Uh, brought me through a series of strange tests, one which I thought might undo me entirely, but nevertheless I managed somehow to pass the strange trial. Rest in peace, innocent fowl. Oh, poor chicken. Uh, but now I have access to the small village where Heartseeker is said to allow. Day 667. I spent over a week inspecting the wood around the village, seeking every nook and cranny the place has to offer. But I found no evidence of the legendary bow. All my work, all my research took 
be led on a blind alley. Nothing for it but to pack my bags and begin a new and a fresh direction. Day 668. I was trekking towards the village on my way to finish my affairs to begin my journey home. My weary eye caught the glimmer atop a cliff. I watched it intently, my heart in my throat, and I recognized Heartseeker. After years of searching, after burden, after trial, after setback, the bow at last. Day 669. I've tried every possible method to recover the bow, but it rests exactly too far in one direction for me to reach. There has to be... There's one remaining possibility. I'll have to jump from the top of the cliff and snag the bow on my way to the ground below. Well. I'm guessing that didn't work out so well for him. Oh, right there it is. Next to his body? No, no, the statue up there. Oh. I'm going to circle around for it. There's a way shrine up there, and uh, I just clicked up there, and let's see where uh, the pathing takes me. This ought to be interesting. But now I want the bow. <laughs> me Can you too. blame me? Yeah, but I, my main character is a ranger. Besides, bears caused all sorts of problems. Can you blame me there? No. <laughs> I wonder if you could just shoot the damn thing. I don't know. I tried to grab it with telekinesis, but I couldn't. I wonder if I could well if I ran up there. Well, oh, you are damaging the statue. There you go. And it fell down. When all else fails, just shoot it, right? Yep, that's one of my go-to methods. That was worthwhile, I think. Hopefully. Let's see. Where are you? In my inventory. Uh, I, uh, I got it. Oh, did you get it? I guess so, because it's in my inventory. I picked it up, but okay, cool. I'll see, I see it in my inventory. That's well, fine. That's incredibly disheartening. What? It's worse than what I have. Maybe it's better than what Bayer has. I mean, it has an extra point of dexterity. Hang on, let me try it on. Let's see, 135, 234. Uh, it looks like the extra dexterity is brings it up a little bit. I want to know how it got in my inventory because I didn't loot it. Yeah, I picked it up. I was going to just see what it was because it was hanging in the air. So I figured I'd have to telekinesis it. Huh, weird. The game's doing strange shit already. Oh, on the plus side, it does cost one less AP to attack, so... Yeah. Google. I was expecting to have to identify it or something, you know? Yeah. So, should we check out the cave? Yeah. And then circle back around and, you know, try go heading over to that gazebo. Yeah, I was going to say, then we can check out the gazebo. The underground passage. This isn't promising. Quick save. Uh, 
And let's... There's a rat. Well, hang on. Let me talk to the ratty. The rat will probably tell us where this is going. Oh, this, this looked promising, though. Rat. Oh. It's awfully boring in here without the proper magic. Then things really get moving. Or should I say, stomping. Okay. Well, that's intriguing. Well, we have the proper magic, I hope. Hmm. Looks like a cave -in down there. Let's go check it out. Does it look like anything lootable or movable? Nope. Okay, there's a, so, a ladder up above. Yeah, I'm headed up there. I assume you are too. Yeah. Yeah, I just have Medora leading the charge right now because, you know, put our tank forward. Yep. I'll let you climb the ladder first. Alright. Cryptic dungeon. An auto save. Awesome. Alrighty. Ready, hold still. Right, 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 hold still. Don't ask me <laughs> about all these teleporters. My friend's the one with all the details, but good luck finding uh... <laughs> Teleporters. Yeah. It's less stuff to loot. I just slow down here. I'll hand that to myself. Maybe I'm a little greedy with the arrows, I don't know. Charming arrow! Uh-oh. I gave it to Bear. Alright. Alright. Alright, and, go... and the ladder is just where we came from. Yeah, so do you want to go upstairs, or it looks like we can go to the right of the stairs, and there's something over there. I'm going to head to the right to this, of the stairs. There's a bench. There's... Ooh, teleporter. Yeah. Maybe this is... Yo. Oh, oh no. That's not a way or a waypoint. That's just a teleporter. So... I have, stairs that's, over here. I have a feeling that's the beginning of the puzzle. Probably. Let's walk around. It looks like there's... This balcony Ooh, a, up here. A poison arrow. I'll hold on to that. Poisons are good. I wonder how much beer I've drank out of this mug. A lot. Alright, there's another teleporter up here. A water balloon. I'll hand that to you. Thanks. I mean, how much damage can you do with a water balloon? I mean, really. <sighs> well, there's only one way to find out. There's bats up there. A knock down there. I'll give that to Bear. Oh, magical notes. This is probably going to help us out. Yeah. A blank witchcraft boot, book. A book. Magical notes. Meridino the discerning has done it this time. None will manage to reach my magnificent treasure now that I have guarded it with an impenetrable puzzle. Gluttonous thieves and cultists may gaze upon my riches, but will they gain them? Ha, never. What better place to hide my riches from those blood lickers than before their very noses? Oh, how they'll be tantalized, and oh, how they'll jump from portal to portal, forevermore seeking but never finding Meridino's bounty. An endless labyrinth of portals awaits the pitiful fools who would lust after what is rightly Meridino's. Note to self, if Meridino wishes to retrieve his treasure, may he remember the following. Burr, mountain, pant, waterfall, mop, bronze. All right, well... Since there's different elements here, burr, I would imagine, uh, refers to cold. Yep. So I'm going to take the cold one. Is there a cold portal? Yeah, oh, there's, hey, there's another one here. Okay. And okay. slip and slide. All right. Now I'm in a area with a bunch of uh, jungle. And, oh, look, more stuff to loot. All right. I'm coming. 
You're not even uh, breathing hard. That's amazing. Hey, -o. right. Okay. Oh, oh, ready. From the top, ice, fire, earth, fire, nature, nature, oh, blast, what comes after that one? Okay, so definitely an earth one after this. I'm just drinking and looting. Let's see. Secrets of the scroll. That may be worthwhile. There you go. It, it reminded me of you. Thanks. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this one's earth. This Hang on, room don't, is don't full go of in rocks. It. Yeah, no, don't I go won't. Into it yet. This room is full of rocks, though. That sounds promising. It's just all, yeah, you know, all the vases, all of them. Oh wow, look at the uh, machinery over there. Yeah, I saw that. That looks pretty cool. Static cloud. I'll give that to Bear. There. <laughs> Smoke screen arrow. Just yep, all the loot. So much loot. Ooh. And this is why I've been looting. What'd you get? Another wand. Nice. Uh, of course I got something for you. <laughs> 5592 air damage no it's I unless it's well I guess I need to hear what it's plus two uh, constitution plus two perception three uses of air elemental okay that's pretty good plus two constitution and plus two what perception uh, perception that's pretty freaking good actually damage is on par with the other ones that I have that I crafted but way better stats but yeah, it's the a purple I mean you like yeah. purple I love purple. It's a great color. Yeah. So this is why I've been looting. <laughs> and here, have some fries. Thanks. May need to reheat them. And here, have your drink. Oh, that's a witchcraft skill book, not a scroll. Whoops. Okay, Can't remember I how it is that you improve wands. Oh, there's more. There's more stuff in here to loot. Lucky Charm has definitely paid off. Yeah, I think we have to agree with this one, right? Yeah, I mean, I I never said that it didn't. I just you're the one who's got it, so I I stand around a lot of time while you loot stuff. I mean, I open random. I, I just got stuff. a heavy holding a uh, golden grail, that's worth nine hundred gold. As, as in like the golden grail that we. Sp spawn with to improve items no. or just vendor trash? No, just trash. vendor trash. Okay. But still, 900 gold after, you know, sinking a lot of money into more potions for Medora. Is maybe the, maybe okay. the grail is what I need. No, that's not it. Shit. I don't remember how you improve wands. Oh, no. Okay, oh, so. That did it. So, yeah, this looks like the Earth one. So we'll go through this. Okay, Cryptic Dungeon. And we're back in the main hall. Let's see, they said... Yeah, I'm trying to find what Ratty said. Maybe that wasn't the Earth Dungeon then. Well, no, it looked like it brought us back to the main area to go through another oh, one. That. Yeah. Bear Mountain, Pant, Waterfall, Mop, Bronze. That's okay, what the book so, says. So. So, Waterfall would be the water one, right? Uh, Lucky Charm just I went guess. off again. Here, have a starfish. Thanks. That actually get, uh, is useful in making a uh, holy hand grenade. The starfish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sweet.
So does that mean we have to go back to the other room? Well, you have and then the, go through uh, the waterfall. I think so. I'm, I'm just here looting. What can I say? Okay, so that's the fire one. That's the cold. Where's the water? Where's the water one? The water one is on the other side of the ice teleporter. Nope, that brought me back to the main room too. Okay, let's try this again. Ice. Start this from the beginning. Ice. That's the water. Let's talk to Ratty again. Ice, earth, fire. Ice, earth, fire. Nature. Okay. So, uh, so we go through here, then, then fire. Right. Ice. Earth. Earth. Fire. Yep. Nope. Ice, earth, fire. Okay, let's go into this one again and try a different one. Let's try the one in front of all the machinery. Where did that take you? Back in the main area. Okay. Uh, read out the book again. Okay. The, the sequence. The book. says burr mountain pant waterfall bump bronze so burr rock pant which would be fire That takes me back out here. So oh, that's not right. Hmm. I can't feel like we're missing something. Hmm. There's not any other teleporters in here, are there? That we've just missed? No. Oh. At least I don't think. Even though I have to admit that there is a very unnatural end of the map over here that's just your know, jagged edge. <laughs> yeah. Right. Then mountain. Hang on. Uh. Fire. Let's make sure we're not screwing this up. Okay. I'm going off what Ratty says. It says ice, which has this one obviously that has the, the Oh shit, on that it. one took me back. Okay. Right. So fire. Shit, then what was next? Water? Uh uh, the rat says, ice, earth, fire, nature, then blast what's next. And here's the thing is that... Hang on, hang on. 
Yeah, there's nothing else in here. I feel better already. Because my first thought was that, you know, it's a trick and you have to double back and go back through. Ah. Uh. Huh? Okay, so there's a teleporter we did miss. Oh, really? Yeah. So in the main room, there's like a, I don't know, a, a sheet or a tattered curtain or something that's blocking a doorway uh, that goes back to this other teleporter. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I just got a uh, lucky charm to go off again. And it gave me something that I can't identify. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I have something with a uh, plus lore master on it, and I do. Right. So you go through this teleporter, then you go fire. Fuck. Shame it's not nearly as good as Medora's stuff, but that's a hell of a, a good lot of specials on it. And you go waterfall. So basically, we were just missing a uh, a teleporter. Yeah. Yeah, and if, this uh, teleporter. Yeah, and if I wasn't trying to rush, I would probably have spotted it. Boop. And then... You go through this teleporter. And... Come on. Yep. Alright, you should just be able to pyramid to me. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. Yep. Tales of Rothbard the Barbarian. Yoink. Oh shit. Dude's talking to me. Or dudette. Okay. Listening? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm listening in. Alright, obviously, what you have to do first. What have you got to sell? <laughs> uh, some wine. I guess even spirits need their drink. And uh, some uh, gold. No, no, no. It's a spirit spirit. I. Who are you? Sorry, I was taking their spirits. Uh, who are you? Can you not see the essence of the goddess about me? Nope. I am the eternal immaculate spirit, guardian of the goddess's good news. What good is news, your purpose everyone? Here? Yes. What is your purpose I here? These three eternal tomes of wisdom proclaimed too powerful for the average student. The Immaculates of old sealed their knowledge within this maze, and only they who could prove clever enough to find them would be permitted to access their secrets. Yeah, a good thing, yeah, we found that curtain, right? <laughs> yeah. And now you have managed to pry open this tomb of knowledge. You are entitled to one of these arcane books, but only one traveler. Choose wisely. Well, All right. Okay, then. See what we've got. Uh, Elemental yeah, 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 tortoise. Yeah, 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 don't pick up yet. Uh, probably quick save. Well, let's see. One looks like it's a man at arms. One looks like it's a witchcraft, and one looks like it's a, a, a marksman. But yeah. first, let's talk to Ratty. The answer is two. Okay. Chest in the corner. One of these corners? Oh, over there. Ornate chest. Level of question, question. All right, I'm going to pick up this other book. What do these books uh, where say? do you see it? Oh. oh, never mind. It was behind all the uh, huts. Well, I guess it's down to... Uh, well, horrific scream is yo know, completely out. 
Yeah. Wow, so many r rows of books to loot. I have a feeling that you'll want me to loot those. <laughs> or yes, at least please. some of those. Um, well, since we just quick saved, I kind of want to see what the infect does. Yeah, me too. I'll do another quick save since we picked up a couple. All right. So I'll pick this up. Ooh. And the other ones go away. And in fact, uh, latest added. Yeah, I was right. That's expert marksman. 100% chance to set infected status for four turns. Uh, disease lowers the uh, target's constitution by three and bodybuilding by two. Infected has a chance to infecting any everyone that comes near it. Expert marksman uh, skill. What's its skill level? Uh, it's expert, so that uh, it requires level nine. So oh, that shit. Wait, level nine is in like nine level nine in marksman or Le level, level nine, nine uh, level nine player. Oh, okay. Do you want to reload and check out what the man at arms skill is? Yeah, well, well hang on, let me, uh, I'm going to go, since we're going to reload to check out the man at arms skill, I'm going to go ahead and learn this to see what uh, the chances are of using it are, all right? Okay. So... Let's see, in fact, it, it's uh, an adept skill, all right? Okay. And with my stats, I have a 110% chance to send infected status. It's 6 AP cost. Too bad. Does it do any damage or does it just set infect? Just set infect. Okay, that's a little less useful, but situationally it could be useful. Definitely when dealing with... Uh, and it looks like it's single target only. I'm gonna try, uh, since we're reloading, I'll cast it on bear. Okay. Oh, if you will find no quiet prey in me, my friend, play dead if you like. But it will oh, I got no disease good. too. Yeah, that's the downside of that is that it's nearby enemies, so or nearby creatures. So we would have to be very careful with that. And bear was right on the edge of my range. Okay, so it's very short range. It looks like Doesn't it knocked it? the ever living hell out of you health wise, though. It did. It, well, it dropped my constitution by three, plus did some damage to me. Okay, so it did do damage. Yeah, I think it's oh. like the damage from being infected. Yeah, I'm going to cast it on Midori. That'll give me a good idea. She's at 1342. You there, cut it out. And brings her down. It's about, well, 350 damage. Well, I was going to say uh, 343 uh, because it brought her down to 999 out of 1342. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a fair amount. Okay, go yeah, ahead and reload. That can be very useful, though. I have a, a feeling that the other one is going to be heavy defense uh, for Medora. So let's just go ahead and pick it up. Elemental Tortoise. I'm pretty sure I know what this will be. Uh, be. Okay. Sort by latest added. Oh, oh yeah, this isn't nearly as interesting. What well, is it? Likely. Just like... A super uh, defensive stance? Uh, this, yeah. This is a defensive stance that, uh, well, it's a defensive stance that does 40% on all resistances, but it also hits negative 40% movement speed. So I'll go ahead and learn this, so. She actually doesn't have the skills to do that. Hang on. Yeah, she wouldn't be able to learn for... 
Uh, she would have to swap something out. Yeah, for adept, so. Let's see. Adept. I would have to lose either Crippling Blow, which is proven to be useful, Whirlwind, which is hell no. The only option would really be Rage. You don't use that very often, do you? Yeah, true. It's a. Uh, it has some very hefty uh, downsides. It's plus 50% damage, plus 2% crit chance, but negative 25% hit chance, and negative 20 armor. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, forget that for now. And learn this. All right, Elemental Tortoise. Put that on the hot bar. Oh, it requires a shield. So that's pretty much a non-starter. Okay. So yeah, I'll reload. Yeah. So pretty much, yeah, someone gets infect. Infect, yeah. It's just, uh, who, do, uh, who do you want? You uh, to have it on bear or me? Um, I mean, I'd like to have it, but it is pretty situational. It's yeah. got short range. I tend yeah. to hang back a lot more than you do. I mean, if someone charges at Bayer, that's one thing, but generally that doesn't happen. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab it since, you know, we're, we're, I mean, it's pretty much we have to get that because Perfect stream, stream is Witchcraft and Elemental Taurus is, requires a shield, so it's definitely in fact. I think you should have it because since Medora's in your party, you're always closer to the front line than I am, which yeah. would mean that you would have more chances to use it than me. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, you know, I I, I feel a little uh, bad about getting all the fun stuff. But then again, like you said, I am closer usually. Yeah. I mean, I tend to play just support and ranged attack position. Right, so so. I'll, I'll go ahead and learn this. So, in fact, I guess you could say I'm infectious. Hey. -o. All right. Well, I'm going to start drinking and looting the uh, books now. Maybe I'll get something cool. Knock yourself out. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. It's stitch of time, hey, my friends? No, no. A portrait of a man, 471 gold. I'll give that to you to sell. Thanks. A crystal, 500 gold. There you go. Thanks. That's probably for one crafting. Into the fray once more. Perhaps. Wand or staff, maybe. And there goes Lucky Charm again. Uh, Adventurous Field God, Volume 10, and a wand that I need to identify. You know, remind me on level up that I need to get at least one point to uh, lower master. Okay. Because I'm starting to... Uh, okay, uh... 42 70 fire damage. There's the magic starfish. Uh, plus 20 health, 25% chance to set muted status for two turns, and allows you to cast immolation for three turns. I imagine that's a yes. That's pretty nifty. I already know immolation, but the muted would be. Yeah, could you resync health, by the way? Yes. I will do that in just a moment. So my magic starfish. There you are, Matt. No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Do you use a flask and not a grenade? No, a canister? Mortar and pestle. Oh, you have to use a mortar and pestle on the magic starfish? Mm hmm. Ah. Where's my mortar and pestle? And blank earth's book. There it is. Negative. Invalid combination. Okay. I thought it was that. Um... I do know it has to use the sovereign orb. That we've encountered a few times. 
Okay. I guess I'll just hold on to the magic starfish. I think I sense a sorcerer. He might have other uses too. Alright. Blank air book. Yeah, basically I'm just doing speed looting. Yeah, um I'll uh, I got an undead uh a scroll for the or scroll for the undead uh, decapitator. Awesome. Uh who should I send that to? Um anybody, I guess. I mean I've got a couple of scrolls for summons and I don't have oh. Oh, I have uh, the wolf and the spider naturally. I've got fire elemental. Bear's only got the spider. Maybe bear. She's got an All alternate right. summon. There you go. You remember the good old days, right? Yeah, just uh, doing the speed looting is definitely working out, huh? Yeah. Okay, I think I've gotten all the books. Granted, I uh, didn't get that much, but got a couple things, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I got one more uh, bookcase left. Oh, I had Lucky Charm fire again. Freezing arrow. I'll give that to Bear. And a plague grenade. Hope I'm not going to regret that. Give that to you. Thanks. Although I tend to pass off all of my grenades to you guys because my dexterity is so low. My grenade tosses are horribly inaccurate. Yeah, sturdy robe, which is just Let's vendor trash. Time, hey, my friends? A plain golden ladle, 500 gold. I'll hold on to that myself. I vendor trash. Already. A one-handed battle axe, which is just going to be vendor trash. Come on. Okay, I think I've looted all the books. Should we see what the chest is about then? Yeah. We got a few interesting things. I guess do a quick save. If uh, the chest uh, decides to be snippy. Okay. And just in case, get drunk. Uh, it has a dusty parchment in it. Okay, let's read it. You found the second of my secret sisters. You're getting rather good at this, aren't you? One nearly... Uh, begins to think that you might uh, continue finding chest after chest until, hmm. If you do manage to solve this riddle, you'll only be the second of four or steps closer to getting your grubby hands all over my precious treasure. The ostrich strucks among many legs, gazes through my, uh, my eyes, flaps me wings through it never flies. Which digit am I? 42. <laughs> Well, the rat did say two, so. Yeah, it looks like you got all the bases already. Yep, yep. No, no, you missed a couple. Oh, uh, did I? Yeah, there was one right there. Well, Not bad. Little disappointing that, you know, uh, I was hoping for more useful stuff. Oh, there's more uh, books over here to loot. So, let's see how quickly I can uh, go through these and uh, see if Lucky Charm goes off. A blank earth scroll. A blank water scroll. I'll tell you what. Whoops, that makes thread. A 
a fire arrow. So much looting, huh? Yep. It's all right. I'm doing taking the opportunity to do just a little bit of crafting while you're looting. A blank water scroll or blank blank water skill book. A resurrect scroll. Uh, I'll give that to you. Still don't know why we got the Boulder Bash scroll back there, you know? That's just a mystery. Yeah. I had Lucky Charm go off again and I saw what it was. Oh, well now I know how to make a grenade fuse, but so far I haven't had to use any fuses for any. Okay. I got a wolf scroll and a smoke grenade. So, Barrel will get the summon wolf. Now, I think we are finally done here. All right. Oh, that was fun. Indeed. Wait a second, thing? I don't have my necklace anymore. Did you swap it out for something to craft? No. Do you have it? Uh... Because I'm wondering if I was wearing a quest amulet. We did have a... We did hand in an ambulance uh, when we got into the village. We did. That was probably what I was wearing. Whoops. Oh, well. It's fine. I'll find another one eventually. Uh, it well, I... Let's see. I do have... Oh, oh here, I do have a sovereign word there. Hold on to that. I do have a couple necklaces here. One that I've been holding on just for the lore master. Because I had to use it to identify one of these. And the other one I have is a plus one charisma of 21 water resistance. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, right? Oh, hang on. I got an enlightened amulet here. Plus one strength, 50 HP. There you go. Thanks. Yay. I'm healthy again. Well, more healthy. Not as healthy as you could get. <laughs> A stitch in time, eh, oh, I'm going to take the teleporter. Oh, well, that was an interesting thing. Neat little puzzle to solve. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more looting. I, I missed a vase up here. Actually, I missed two vases. Yeah, I'm glad to we be, wandered into this cave. To be truth, it is just an excuse for me to drink. <laughs> you, my friend, seem to have a problem. And you eat a cup of tea. Could go for a cup of tea right now. Got coffee, wow. but... Wow, we're already an hour, by the way. I know, we spent quite a bit of time wandering around trying to figure this out. Trap disarm kip. And I'll give you the gold. Thanks. Found a lockpick. I'm going to head out and I guess it's time for ending spiel. Yeah. Uh, if you want to watch this video and you're not on my YouTube channel, you can do so. Go to my YouTube channel by searching for Game Psychologist. <clears throat> I post all of my content there. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at JMA4707. I post many tweets, only most of them are political here lately. <laughs> uh, 
If you want to watch me stream games on Twitch, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash jarthur4707. I appear on two podcasts. One of them, the Straight as a Pretzel podcast, premieres most Mondays. And then VGL, or Video Game Logic, with this fellow right here. And speaking of this fellow right here, Ray, it's reckon they find you on the interwebs. Well, outside of me just running through this cave to get out of here, you can find me over at Gaming with Caffeine Rage or youtube.com slash gaming with rage where i have three let's play series the sunday sampler that has all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff and well the podcast that we're both a part of Fridays at noon over there and if you wish to catch me tweeting somewhat randomly on twitter you can find me over at gaming with cr on the twitter Unfortunately, not as much political stuff, but maybe that's a good thing these days. <laughs> Most of my political stuff involves me poking Jared and getting reactions from him. Because it amuses me. Indeed. Eternal silence awaits you! Oh, sinew. Excellent. And an antler? Animal hide? And antler? Another antler? Look at all that crafting stuff. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. As I, uh, uh, <laughs> a little bit of overkill on my part for the deer. Yeah, you waste a lot of arrows there. Eh, I carry a few extra. Fair enough. <laughs>